Hey you guys, Emily Roberts here, the Guidance Girl. I'm so excited to be here with you today. It is really hot out there. I'm in Austin. I just got to speak with Jen Austin's Girls Camp and it was amazing. I am so thrilled to be a part of their conference this year in November and that I got to speak with over 50 brave, beautiful, insightful, amazing young women yesterday and all of their helpers, um, their adult helpers who were there. If you haven't heard of Jen Austin, you've got to look them up. They're an amazing organization. We Are Girls um, is the website, I believe. And I can't even tell you how amazing it is. I keep saying that word, but the reason is, is because they're really helping to give girls the skills they need to feel good in the skin they're in, which is what I'm all about. Oh, I guess Milo is too. Hold on. Here he is. He just came up here too to say hi. Hello. Say hello, everyone. Hi. Okay. So I am want to give you one of the skills that I gave them. And it's one that I give adults all the time because they ask me for it. It's not just for kids. It's about how to be confident saying no or getting what you want with others. Okay. And the, how do we do that? You could say no, but that usually doesn't work, right? You feel really crappy afterwards or you're not feeling happy afterwards. I want you to feel confident going into it. And I want you to feel confident after you say no, right? And here's how you do it. Use this. This is what I gave the girls yesterday. Okay, I know it's very cute, but it's also very effective. There's an Oreo in there for a reason, so hold on. What's my goal? What's your goal for communicating with this person? Do you want them to hear you and respect you? Do you want them to do something for you? Do you want to feel respected um, after you say no? or whatever the situation is. And it can also be trying to get something from somebody. So if I need help, that's a huge thing, right? My goal is to get someone to help me to do something. And it's so hard to ask for help sometimes because you feel like insecure or it feels weird. So this skill can help you. But before you try it, you've got to also ask yourself, how do I want to feel? That's number two. I'm not feeling great right now because I'm feeling uncomfortable because I need help or I want to say no to somebody. How do I want to feel after I communicate? When you can pause, drop the phone for a second lightly so you don't break the screen, if you're texting somebody, pause before you say yes or just don't go into the conversation yet. This will help you so much. Take like five seconds, 10 seconds to say, what's my goal and how do I want to feel? I want to feel confident. I want to feel like they heard me. I want to feel good about myself. Great. What skill can I try? Well, the Oreo. Let's try that one, okay? Here's what it is. It's the sandwich technique, which I've discussed before, but I like sweets and I think a lot of you do too. So I want to use the Oreo skill. In order to have that yummy stuff in the middle, we've got to have two things on the outside. And those two things on the outside are a positive comment and another positive comment. It doesn't mean like, oh, I like your shirt. Do this for me. I like your shirt. That's silly. But it means that we want to get them engaged, right? So that they actually hear what you're asking for or what you need. And then follow up with something to pad it a little bit. So saying to somebody, for example, a friend of mine who wanted to hang out recently, saying to her, and I was super busy and I wanted to see her, but I, I couldn't make it happen right away. I said, oh, I love hanging out with you. I wish I could right now. I've got so much on my plate, which I'm sure you understand because you've got a lot on your plate too. Maybe we can do something another time later this week. I really do miss you. Positive, the weird kind of saying what you need or asserting yourself because sometimes that's uncomfortable. And then the other piece to pat it, that cookie piece. Another way that you do this is to say what you need some help from somebody. We really want to be careful. What's your goal? I need some help. I want to feel like I got helped, right? Positive. You're such a good spreadsheet person. I am not. You're such a good person to do this. And I know that you've got a lot on your plate. Would you mind helping me? It would mean so much because I'm so slammed and I don't get it. And you are so much better at me than this. Thank you so much. If I can do anything to help you, that'd be great. Can you still do this for me? You don't have to follow it up like that, like a triple stuffed Oreo, but you can. Positive, you're really great at this and I could use your help and your advice because you're an expert. I need a little help. Can you please help me with this? It would make me feel so much better. Follow it up with, I'd love to help you too. Or it would mean so much to me because you're so great at this. Does that make sense? I think it does. And if it doesn't, ask me below and I'll clarify even more. Remember, what's my goal? How do I wanna feel? And then how am I gonna incorporate this skill? Before you say a word, try this.